50, a.k.a. Ferrari F50. So 50 is obviously going to take any chance that he can to troll Floyd Mayweather. And I don't know how accurate or true this is. Um, 50 said it was true and then removed it off his Instagram like he sometimes does. He'll chime in on things and then remove it. But luckily for me, I know that he does that. So I screenshot everything that he posts um, just because, you know, he'll remove it and then it's hard to find it. I'm like, damn, it was up there. So just for like podcasts and just research purposes i always screenshot them having my phone that way if it's removed you know it's like hey you know he did post this so let's what am i talking about let's go over this uh 50 cent has weighed in on a shocking claim in the ongoing spat between floyd mayweather and gervonta davis saying he believes a belief that was allowed um that has allowed him to get in some digs of his own so taken to this instagram story uh instagram on saturday april 27th the June head honcho posted some tweets from Davis, who took several shots at Fifth's friend turned foe Mayweather, including a claim that Mayweather needed a wire in order to get home. What are we talking about here? A wire. We're talking money, wiring money to somebody, not, you know, rope wire and stuff like that. Uh, this was a nod to a claim Davis had just made that Mayweather was being held hostage in Dubai. Yes. So. Let's go over the Gervonta Davis's tweets. Let me actually go on his Twitter page because I don't know if he removed it or not. Um, let me see. Gervonta Davis, by the way, is a boxer. For those that don't know. And let's see. He said, um, and the, you know, Floyd and him have kind of been going back and forth. And he said this. This is what he tweeted. The money looking funny like that fake ass hair on his head and face. Uh, they got Floyd's ass for real. Tell him I'll send him a wire. Let my fucking family go. Let me call 50. We got to get this guy home by Monday. 50 then posted those tweets. And then let me go on my phone to actually find the screenshot because he removed it. Uh, posted those tweets. That Gervonta Davis tweets. And he said this. Oh, nah, this shit is real. He tagged Gervonta. Uh, would not say no shit like that if it wasn't official. So he's saying Gervonta would not say no shit like that if it wasn't official. Me and Champ be beefing, but he's my brother. I got some money if he need it. And then 50 also followed up, and this is the 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 kind of you know thing that made me think that 50 removed it and that he was just you know trolling, which I didn't screenshot this. I hope um, he still has it up because this one I didn't screenshot. Yeah, I did not screenshot, but he basically said. It's jokes. He was saying like, no, nah, we're just joking. Floyd is fine. He's okay. But Gervonta is saying it's real. So I don't know what's going on in terms of, you know, Floyd. Floyd has had a lot of interesting, you know, Floyd does these things that make me question whether he's got money like that or not. The reason why I'm not a pocket watcher. I could care less, you know, who's got what kind of money. But Floyd will do these weird ads on Instagram for people. Like, it'll be the weirdest shit ever. Like, hey, follow this page, and you'll get a chance to win these gifts. Yeah, if you follow them, you can win these. Like, I see those type of shit from, like, YouTube influencers that, like a Logan Paul or some shit. Like, expecting, uh, and then Floyd will go, like, in these random areas, Morocco, and wherever around the world, and he'll he'll plug, you know, whoever there, and, like, he'll he'll promote whatever. Like, he's promoted so many things on his Instagram and said, buy this, blah, 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 or support this. Or, you know, if you go here, you'll get the best car rental service in Dubai. Like, it's some weird things where it's like, you know, I get, get your bag. Hey, if they cut you 500000 just to make a quick one-minute video, I guess. But it, it it dilutes your brand. It makes people less trust what you're really endorsing and co-signing. Like, imagine for me, if if every podcast episode, I was co- I was getting sponsored by a different company. Like it wasn't Golden Eagle, right? It was something else. Then the next day, next podcast was something else. You guys really want to, you know, like support it or take it serious. You guys would be like, like, what the fuck? This guy's just getting money on every single podcast and promoting whatever the hell, you know, that, you know, he wants to make money off of. It's like, it's not genuine. It's not real. I have never co-signed any like sponsorship deal that I don't actually use myself. Um, I think... What was one deal that I actually disagreed with that I, I did? Um, there was one that I was like, nah, I shouldn't have done that deal. I know a lot of, some people gave me flack for that deal that I did, the nicotine gum. But I don't think people understand what 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 that is. Like people that were giving me flack for it didn't understand that the nicotine gum was 
something to get people off of cigarettes. Because, you know, cigarettes addicted to nicotine, you get onto nicotine gum, you can slowly reduce the amount of, um, you know, cigarettes you're taking. And it's been proven to help people. So people are like, you're pushing nicotine on people. I'm like, nah, man, that's the whole, like, if you guys watch the sponsorship deal, it was a whole, like, even the, the what I talked about was like, nah, it's not about that. Um, so that I kind of was like, eh, I shouldn't have done that. I think that's it. I can't really think of everything else. Like I've actually used, tried it out and enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't agree with like, I got offered, um, another sponsorship for the podcast. Cause after golden Eagle did their sponsorship, a company came and it was a weed company. And I was like, I don't smoke weed. I don't, you know, so why, why would I me if I, if I had a weed product here, you know, I'm lying to you guys. I don't use it. I don't smoke it. So at the end of the day, I just kind of let it, you know, I was like, ah, I don't really want to do a deal that I know I don't use. You know, it just doesn't make, I would never push that, you know, to, to, to you guys who watch and listen to me all day. Like it's not, nah, man, that's so Floyd be doing those things that make me like question, does he really have money? So I don't know. I could, I could kind of believe that, Hey, in Dubai, he has a lot of debts and they could do, but, but then again, it's like, Dubai kidnapping or, you know, basically ordering money from somebody really, really famous like that is not a good look because, you know, if that, if that comes back that, Hey, or at least in America comes back to, Hey, we have our, one of our most famous boxers in the world is kidnapped by people in Dubai over some money. That's going to be a bad look for Dubai. It's not going to make them look good. But this whole rumor started by some random TikToker who wears a Spider-Man hoodie who said, I have huge connections to Dubai. They're saying Floyd Mayweather got kidnapped, blah, blah, blah. So you know, this bullshit, this is what I'm saying, like TikTok and just a lot of these platforms, X, whatever platform, you guys got to stop believing people with no sources at all in anything. Like they'll just say shit out their ass. The guy is wearing a Spider-Man hoodie. No disrespect, if you wear Spider-Man stuff. But the guy's wearing a Spider-Man hoodie claiming he knows the richest people in Dubai and that he knows that Floyd Mayweather got arrested or not arrested, but kidnapped for not giving, for not paying back debts that he owes. Come on. With no source, by the way. I watched the video on TikTok. No source, nothing. Just just talking straight out of his Spider-Man hoodie. That's it. I'm like, come on, man. And that 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 trickled onto this with, you know, now with Gervonta, you know, Davis kind of adding fuel to it, it kind of makes it seem like it's more real. But I don't know, 50 adding his fuel to it, and then 50 kind of denied it with a post he removed that I can't find. So I should have screenshot that too. You know, sometimes I'll miss some of these posts and I'll just forget to screenshot um, but yeah, we'll keep our eyes posted, man. We'll see. I think Floyd Mayweather is still in Dubai. If I remember correctly, he hasn't really said anything about these things. Let me actually check Floyd Mayweather's page and see, has he posted anything about any of this stuff? Cause I don't think he has. Okay. So the last, the last post, um, on his actual Instagram was four days ago, but in his stories, he's posted a lot, but it's a bunch of like products and companies. Like, look at this guy. He's selling Mayweather, selling Mayweather vapes. Come on, man. That's what I mean. Like, you don't believe Mayweather vapes. The guy is like one of the healthiest people. Boxes, does all these things. I don't, I've never seen him vape ever in my life. I've never seen a single clip of him vaping. Floyd Mayweather's vapes. Come on, man. Like, that's too much product pushing where you're just attaching your name to whatever and trying to sell things. I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't respect it, man. To me, like, you got to have some type of, respect for your name and your brand before you just start pushing a bunch of shit to people. Um, but yeah, we'll keep our eyes posting to see what happens. Uh, hopefully Floyd is not on whatever the hell they're not keeping him over there for not paying his debts.